Hello guys, Rob here, and welcome to episode 10 of uh, my Derby County career mode. In the last video we had an alright, well I say alright, it was nah, all right, it was an alright game. Um, we won the first game against Norwich 3-2, if I remember correctly, we were losing and we made a good comeback. And then in the last game we lost to Rotherham 1-0. So, we got three points, scored a couple of goals, well, say a couple, we scored three. Um, so, not too bad, and all in all. Um, and in this next video, we're playing against Leeds and Reading. And that will bring us to the end of November. Uh, so, look at the squad. I'm happy with that, I'm going to leave that how it is. So we'll go ahead and play the game against Leeds. Nigel would have been busy since, but uh, I think they're going to lose again here. Well done, Beth. Bloody hell, Leon Beth's coming back and defending. What is he? Well, he's obviously that no man of all the fields. Fortunately, in real life, Derby have um, sent Leon Best back to Blackburn because we've signed Aaron Bent on loan. And speaking of signings, we've signed two new defenders. We've got. Uh, I can't pronounce. Oh, I say I can't pronounce it. It's Raúl Albentos or something like that from um, SD IB AB, something like that. Anyway, something from La Liga, and he's also in the La Liga team of the week. So he's 26, and apparently he's a really good defender. Um, I've got him scouting on this anyway because I want to see if I can pick him up. Interesting facts that I've been reading. It, no, he's sort of a dick. Um, in uh, what was I saying? Yeah, we got it originally. He was going to cost about six hundred thousand euros. I think that's about four hundred seventy thousand, if what I've read correctly. But what from what I've read, he's actually a free agent now, or he was a free agent because he paid his own release clause in his contract. So. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's something I read on one of these Derby County fan sites. Uh, if it's true, it's interesting. And then the other one we got was Stephen Warnock, who we signed from Leeds. Oh, who's that to? Um, undisclosed fee, but it's interesting because one of the major factors that made him want to come to Derby was the fact um, that he wants to play under Stephen McLaren because he said even though he's like, I think he's 33 or something, he says he still feels capable of learning new stuff, especially on Steve McLaren and the team that he's got, like his coaching staff. And he also feels he can pass on some like wisdom and whatnot to the youngsters at Derby, because Derby is a relatively young squad. I think it has an av they have an average age of about 25 or 26, and they're going to score again. Crap. Um, so that would be interesting. Also, what I like about it, with like... Darren Bent and uh, Stephen Warnock. We've got two ex-England internationals. Um, quite, they're not quite old. Well, they're, like they're in the thirties, so you know they're quite old for like the age of football. But they've got that knowledge, um, so hopefully they can help us with our promotion push. Push. I get the words out. So it'd be interesting to see how we get on in real life with those two signings. And I believe we've got. Um, a couple more signings coming. One that I've heard of is a winger from Birmingham City uh, called Darcy Gray, I think his name is. Uh, sorry if I said his name wrong. Uh, pretty much because Jordan Ives has now been recorded back to Liverpool, which I think is another mistake. Because like, he's not going to get much first-team games at Liverpool. Probably get like one or two. And then... They probably won't use him again for a while. He'll just go like on loan. Whereas at Derby, he was pretty much a first team player, guaranteed. And he scored like five goals in 19 or 20 games, I think, or 13, something stupid like that. Uh, so he's not bad. So he was on a good learning at Derby. And I think at Liverpool, they've made a terrible mistake. So not because like he's come from Derby, but like. He's not going to be used much. You don't. They don't seem, apart from Raheem Sterling. Oh, bugger! They don't really use that many young. Well, they do. But it's like, for example, Emre Khan. They brought him from. Where's he from? Bayern Munich, was he? Or 
British Dortmund. I can't remember. He's somewhere from Germany. And as far as I'm aware, they haven't used him much. So I, I, I personally think it was a big mistake uh, taking Jordi and I back on from loan. But we'll see how he gets on. He's an interesting one to watch anyway for the future. Not a bad cross, but it's the... Andrew Cross. Oh, bloody hell, that was close. I think in the next game, I'm going to put Lee, Gr Lee Grant back in. Um, purely because Kelly Roos is still young. But I am going to look for a new keeper. I could do with um, Lee Grant's experience, well, whatever experience he provides uh, in this game. Because in this game, he doesn't seem to be very good. But in real life, he is. Uh, but I am going to look for a new keeper in January. He can cross it now. He can. If oh, lovely. It's a heading chance now. He's reached Ooh, it. But I, I was dipping in. Marking. It was dipping in. This corner could be a problem. They've got to defend it well. There's no, not many blue shirts in there. No. Oh. I thought that went in. It was... It was close. Like I said, I'm not too bothered if I lose this game. I know you guys probably are. Um, my only concern is that I'm probably going to get sacked from them, from Derby. But hey ho, it's only a game. Just means. I should be caught. Thank you. Just means, um, what am I trying to say? A new adventure. Oh, that is wonderful stuff. What I'm probably going to do is just continue this career mode. Like, if I do get sad, go for, to another team and just so on and so on and so on and so on. Just see out until I basically either I get bored or you guys get bored. Or see if I can keep just like going until um, FIFA, what we're on now, FIFA 15, until like FIFA 16 comes out, just see how far I can get on it. How well I do. Uh, approach and got the ball. I know, like, there's um, YouTubers like uh, I don't know, what's his name, MGH, and um, I think the Master Books might do it. Uh, but they just like do one season with a team and then go do a new season with someone else. Uh, whereas I think I'm just gonna just like continue with like this season, not this season, but like this manager's name. Uh, is it Rick Grimes? I think I'm doing, or is it Daryl Dixon, or is it Philip Blake? It's one of them. Uh, I his name and managers after the Walking Dead cast. Um, well, the characters even, not the cast. Uh, so I'll just continue this and see how far I get, where I get up until FIFA. What is shot and doing? It's a winger. Yes, Leon Best. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to continue this like career mode with this manager to see where he go ends up. You know, sort of like say it's be a pro. We'll just call it. Well, it is called be a manager, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you get what I'm r rambling on about anyway. Damn it, ref! Just give me one more second. Well, guys, I lost that one two one, um, but I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, it's a learning curve for Kelly Ruse. Uh, where are we? 14. Not too bad. I don't think I'm going to get sacked just yet, but hopefully. Ooh, Alben Tosa, that's his name. That's a defender we've just signed. Yes! 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 Philip Blake, that's who I am. Um, let's have a look. How is he? Cardiff City. Uh, In third place, Brighton and Hove Albion visit 19. Looks like he's got all right stats. Fourth place, Bolton Wanderers. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. 16th place, Charlton Athens. 70 rated. That's good. Only 10,000. Um, 
Bloody hell, 92 strength, 79 heading accuracy, marking reactions, jumping. That's quite good, I think, for a defender. Uh, so definitely going to try and sign him. I don't know whether to sign him this in January or see if I can get him on a free contract, a uh, free transfer even at the end of, or the beginning of the next season. Uh, so we'll have a look at that in January. And this other email that perked my interest, Patrick Bamford's back. Yippee. I'm going to put him out straight away on the subs. Uh, so I feel that if... Actually... Why is... Oh, Johnny Russell was international. Wait, one he? I'm still injured. I'm going to put him for Dawkins. Uh, Johnny Russell for Claro. Uh, where are you, Bamford? There you are. I'm going to put Bamford for... Uh, Jake Buxton. I'm going to play Russell instead of Hendrick. And I'm going to... How is I? I'll try Ibe, see how it goes for half a game. Oh, who do I take off? Take Bryson off. Take Hughes off for Bryson. Uh, I'm going to leave Kelly Ruse on for, again for this game. Cause I, even though I, I might lose, um, I, I still feel it's like a learning curve for him. Okay, so we'll go into this game against Reading with that squad. Chris Gunter. No, that was a cheeky goal. God damn it. I've got sleep in my eye. I think he had time for another touch of the ball. That was cheeky. That was a fast as a cut back. That was cheeky. Come on. No, don't. Well done. Well done, Thorne. No, keep it on. Yes. Oh, speaking of George Thorne. Actually, he's back in training yesterday. Because uh, I don't know if any of you guys know if you follow like any news from the Championship or Derby or anything, if there's any Derby supporters. Um, he got injured. He did play, I believe it was against West Brom, I think. Um, I can't remember if it was a pre-season friendly or a cup game, but it was something. And um, he'd done the ligaments in his knee. I'm probably all wrong about this, what his injury was. But he'd done something to his knee anyway. And he was out for quite a while, um, and he just started training again Ryan yesterday. So when I'm looking forward to when he comes back, so he's quite good. I say quite good. Oh, he's son of a dick. He were impressive last season when we had him on loan. So can't wait to see him back in the derby top. Now we just need Sean Barker to get better because he's been out for about three years nearly. With his no, no, no! Damn it! I pressed the wrong button. He's been out for about three years with his knee injury. So he ruptured it against Forest. Uh, it must have been about three years ago now. Crap! Crap! What? How did that go in? Come on, Martin. Shoot. No! Right, guys. I have lost that one 2-0. Uh, but, again, I'm not... It's a shame that I've lost these two games, but I'm not too bad because I think the productive losses because I think the helping uh, Kelly Ruse get some experience which is what I'm I'm more concerned about um, I am going to end this video here now however uh, it's like I say it's I'll read these emails actually then I'll end it uh, who got hungry no thank you that it Ruti that's a key parenti 74 2.9 yep gonna go for him in January definitely uh, delete that United, Who's this? Philip Caro. Is it Cam? 64. 
Watford two. I'll leave him for now. Um, Angle or Angel. Forward 71. One. Uh, don't think I'll be able to get him. I might look into it. And delete that. Uh, Borja, Akiza. Uh, 73. I'm not going to get him because he's just arrived. We've got a monthly scouting update. So uh, that. Leave him scouted. In sixth, climbing the table. We've got a young goalkeeper. I'm going to sign him because, like, 47 to 61, he's possibly going to start off summer in the 50s. And then 66 to 88, I reckon he's going to be at least a 72 potential. Uh, so I'm going to sign him. So we'll see how he grows. Whoa. I'm going to sign him because I reckon he's going to start off at about 53. He's probably going to be an 80 rated. So we're going to sign him. Uh, we'll He's going to be probably about 60, so we'll leave him. Uh, probably another 60. Whoa. Going to sign this fella. 46 to 60 again, probably 55, 56 overall so far. 82 to 94. You know he's at least 89, man. Definitely going to sign him. Um, Peter Murphy. He's probably going to be like a 69, 70 rated, so we'll leave him for now. Uh, delete that. What's Jake Buxton saying? He wants to go. It's a shame to see you go, Bucko. I'll try and keep you if I can. Um, right, guys. I am going to end this video here. Um, I do apologise for the two losses, but I do believe they were productive losses. Just helping, like, Kelly Roos grow. Um, if you do know any players you want to try me to... You want me to try and sign even in the January transfer window, as so that is next month. Uh, do let me know, and I'll or leave the names in the comments below, and I'll have a look and see if I can sign them. And something just caught my attention here. Uh, one for the future. Gonna get him scouted. Uh, only a matter of time before Musalera. Why is he any good? Whoa, yeah, because I'm gonna get him. So yeah, uh, thank you very much guys and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.